Hey everybody, this is Darren Williger and Eloy Claudio. We were actually just talking about one of my new websites, mastermindsgroups.com, that he's working on. And I thought this would be a fun chance. We're looking to actually start taking some friends from Twitter, take a look at their sites and helping people out from a new media and web perspective. Right now we're starting off with mine. Taking a look here is an awful placeholder site running for Masterminds Group and a really fun project. Eloy, so Eloy, I'm glad you got mastermindsgroups.com pulled up. What we're looking at is essentially a placeholder site. I'm really eager to see what you came up with. It's, um, it's going to be based on my internal mastermind group. So the whole concept is people meeting regularly to hold each other accountable for success. This external group is going to have six subsets to it that I'm eager to share with people. Yeah, I have the uh, Google Doc up right now. We discussed like, the specifics of each group, and we uh, came together on the idea that what I'm designing is a main site to link out to six separate sites that specify that the specialize in each group, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Well, as you know, each group, ha uh, right here what you have, what we agreed on was having a summary for each group. It would be on the main site, and that would link out to the specific website for that group, right? Well, you had, scroll down at the bottom of this document, you had a mock-up you originally made for me that was pretty neat. Ah, uh, yeah, we, will, we went through the outline and drafting phase, and we ended up with this. Let's take these six groups and uh, put them in rows of three, you know, so you have internet marketing, health and wellness, sales marketing, and the rest speak for themselves, and down here you have testimonials and the contact. That way the groups really take the main focus of the website's layout. Well, let me ask you this, Eloy. Instead of having it three and two, I mean, for the rows and columns, what if we did two and three? This way, because it's a vertical site, there's two and two. So it could be internet marketing, sales marketing, health and wellness, laws of attraction, real estate, social. Because mm -hmm. vertically, we have no limit. Horizontally, mm -hmm. we do. So that, that, that takes away the, um, the need to show in the text. Although, again, you can still show in the text for the sake of, you know, uh, keeping it concise for the person that's coming to the website, you know, they just want to get a, they just want to get a quick uh, understanding of what each group is, uh, so you don't lose anyone. Let me ask. I got testimonials. I must have like I think six or seven from my mastermind group. Could those rotate, or do you want to put them all together? What do you think? Um, I think if we're going to put them on the bottom this way, unless they're, you know, unless once we have them all um, ironed out, once we have them all laid out in front of us, unless they're obscenely long, they can easily be placed like one after the other without a need for rotation. Especially since they're going to be put on the bottom, I think the rotation might just be lost on the viewer. You know, you're coming in, you're seeing the, uh, the groups, and you're moving on to a group page. You know, rotating the content so that people have something to come back to. That might be lost on people when they have to scroll down. They might just assume the first testimonial is, you know, the one that's there, and then move on and not check them again. Well, the other option is toward the top left, you have some verbiage there. Could that be an area where we'd rotate a testimonial? Or? Well, that could be up here, right here. There you go. Let, let, let's highlight this. Let's uh, make sure people can see this. That part right there. <laughs> That's the uh, quote. We discussed having a quote rotate on the page, which is why I put it on the top. Because it's rotating content. You want people to realize that it's dynamic and not miss it each time they come to the page. Um, we can swap. Or just take out the quote. We would have to remove the quote because the quote seems like something minuscule that should be somewhere on the top, not tucked away at the bottom as if it's important content. The top was originally going to be rotating quotes like things from Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, Masterminds quotes. That was the original plan. Yeah. Now, so the testimonials now you're having at the bottom of the page, is that just going to be a long page? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six testimonials in a row? Yes. Okay. It's going to be a long one page website, but I mean, in the end, it won't be too long. Now, I see what you're saying. Though. We're making this one really long web page. It's going to have all the information on top. The bottom's all the testimonials and contact. But the sub-pages, the six ones, are going to be the six separate group pages I've already made. Up here, um, this will most likely be changed um, because this was a quick logo idea that I came up with. Um, this will be sweet to whatever I find or we find is best um, when... Uh, redesigning the logo, to, or we can just go with pure text, you know, we don't necessarily need a logo, that's up to us, or to you, um, but that's generally the rundown of this website, we have two groups of uh, geniuses. I like it, man, I like it a lot, I like websites to be fun, otherwise what's the point, right? Exactly, exactly, I mean, this is a group web website, it's about people coming together, which is why I chose to go with the friendly, you know, 
not to beat the word to death, but the cartoon um, theme because you know you, you want people to feel comfortable coming here and learning and talking to everyone else. So are you uh, you satisfied with the direction the website's going to be go going once we have the um, correct? Oh yeah, no, it's looking really good. Once we have the um, okay, now I'm just sketching things just to have fun with this. Let me stop. Let's erase all drawings. Um, <laughs> Once we have everything fine-tuned in terms of the design, that's where I'll go into coding, uh, which, of course, is in my hands. You know, I'll take care of the um, HTML. I'll make sure that that's clean, that um, it's important to make sure that the HTML is, is, is legible or readable based on a screen reader, some clean HTML. And then I design my websites using CSS, uh, the programs I use, if that's of any importance. Um, I think you know this. You know, I use Go Live. But I mostly hand code most of my stuff, almost all of it. Go Live makes a few things quicker, but I'm pretty much hand coding the HTML and the CSS. Well, it generally yields the best result. It does. It gives you a lot more control, you know. But we will get to that when I begin coding. Eloy, that's fantastic, man. I'm looking forward to getting this site up. How long do you think it'll be before we can uh, have another meeting or move forward and see this online? Um, I want to go back in and take a few days to go back in to, you know, polish the design. Uh, you know, based on some of the conversation we had today, some of the tweaks and turns, I'm going to actually redraw the cartoons to make them smooth and more efficient for the website, a little more expressive. So that's going to take a few days, so we can have another meet another meeting soon. In terms of launch, uh, you know, coupled in with the design process, the coding process, and confirmation, and then testing, you, can, you know, it might take about two and a half weeks because I need a few days for the designing, the confirmation, and then I need to move into coding. And while that takes a few days, after that we need to make sure that it runs smoothly. And I'll take a few days to make sure there's no problems with the website, and you have a few days to decide whether or not you want anything tweaked or changed after launch. I always give that to my um, customers and clients. You know, Once I launch the website, you always have a small window where you can say, hey, this isn't working. Can you change this for me? If it isn't working, it's my responsibility, obviously. And there's other small changes where it's like you, know, you have that window where if you want something small changed, even if it kind of digresses from the discussion that we had previously, I'll change it. But that's only a small window a few days afterwards, after the launch. Sounds good. Me too, man. So thanks so much. I appreciate touching base on this and look forward to uh, round two of Masterminds Groups and getting this thing together. All right. So do I, man. All right. Cool. Thanks, Eloy. All right.